bad. What's up guys, it's Dallas again with Chaos Fragrances. Today I'm back with another video. As you can see, I'm in a little bit of a different spot. I'm actually going to be going over my fragrance collection. This is honestly probably my most highly requested video. A lot of people have been asking to see my collection. I've mainly been putting it off just because I'm constantly getting in new fragrances. So I feel like I make the video and then I get 5 or 10 more fragrances in the mail. And then the video is already out of date. Uh, plus the fact that my collection isn't that big. I don't have hundreds of bottles like some of the other reviewers do yet. Um, I'm slowly getting up to that 100 mark. I have about 45 to 50 bottles and I actually have more on the way already. I'm just going to go ahead and make this video now. This may be something I can do once or twice a year uh, just so you guys can kind of watch my collection progress along and that way the videos will hopefully be shorter, easier to watch. So anyway guys, here we go. We're going to go over my collection. Uh, like I said, I don't have that many fragrances so I should have time to kind of talk about each one a little bit uh, without making this video too long. So with that, let's go and get right into it. All right guys, so let's go and get started. In this row right here, we have my Armani fragrances. So we'll start out right here. We've got 75 mil of Aqua de Jo Profumo Special Blend. This is the limited edition. It smells pretty nice. It is a bit more sweeter than Profumo. Uh, I'll end up making a whole video on it here soon, but really like this one. We've got 75 mil, again, of Aqua de Jo Profumo, the original formulation. Uh, this is one of my backup bottles. Got 125 mil of Aqua de Jo Profumo. As like I've said before, this is my favorite fragrance, so I do have a few bottles. Got 185 mil, I think, of Aqua de Jo Essenza. This is a more woody floral version of the original Aqua de Jo and of Profumo. Back here, I've got Armani Stronger With You. It's a nice fragrance. You know, nothing special, nothing groundbreaking by any means. Definitely doesn't blow me away. And then all the way back here, I have my Paco Rabanne fragrances. I only have Invictus Aqua, so. Here is one bottle of Invictus Aqua, mostly full. And then here is my other bottle of Invictus Aqua. This one is full, uh, never been sprayed. My backup bottle. Right here I got 100 mil of Loam by East Saint Laurent. Right here I've got 200 mil of La Nuit de Loam. Pretty much the best date fragrance there is if you're asking me. Um, and then back here I've got all of my Versace. So we'll start out here. 100 mil Versace Dylan Blue. 100 mil of Versace Pour Homme. Got 100 mil of Versace Mano Fresh and 200 mil of Versace Eros, the big old heavy bottle. Um, probably will never get through that in my lifetime, but that's all right. Then moving over here, I've got some Dior fragrances. So right here, Dior Sauvage. Right here, we've got Dior Homme O. Right here, I've got Dior Homme Cologne. Also, I'm sorry, my camera doesn't autofocus by itself, so the ones back here are out of focus because I'm having to shoot with my aperture wide open. Uh, if you know about cameras, you'll know the struggle. Right here, I've got Chanel Allure Homme Sport O Extreme, 150 mil. Uh, right here, I got Chanel Allure Homme Sport, 150 mil. And then back here behind these, I got a little 50 mil bottle of Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. Got a good deal on this, like $40, so I picked it up. Usually try to avoid buying the small bottles, but I did in that case. And then back here, I've got Mancera. So, got Mancera Cedrat Boise, right there. Right here, I've got some Mancera Aoud Vini. And then all the way back here, I've got Mancera Aoud, Aoud, can't even say it, Aoud Line. So, that's my Manceras. And then down here, I've got my Creed. So, I've got Aventus. This is batch 17 N01. Very nice stuff, great performance, great compliments. I really don't have to explain to you what this is. Right here I've got uh, Millicene Imperial, uh, 16 CO1 batch. Great stuff, performance isn't the best, but it's also not awful. It's a great summer scent, kind of this salty watermelon scent. Then right here I've got Virgin Island Water. This is actually a 2008 batch, which is pretty much launch year. Uh, somewhere around there, this is 08 CO2. I think that's what it is. Yep, 08 CO2. Basically full. Pretty proud of this one. Definitely gorgeous stuff. You have this rum, coconut, lime. The lime in this is still as crisp as can be. Gorgeous stuff. So that is Virgin Island Water. Right here is where it starts to get unorganized. I really don't own several different fragrances from each of these fragrance houses, so they're not organized. But got Dolce Gabbana, the one, EDP, 100 mil. Carolina Herrera, CH Men Privé, 100 mil. Great stuff. These are both great date fragrances. Right here I've got Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct. It's a great tropical smelling scent, very young. Right here I've got Ultra Male. It's a great a night out scent. Back here I've got Salvatore Ferragamo F Black. It's a great, great cheap fragrance. Super good performance. Great for the really cold winter. Back here I've got Azara Wanted. Really just bought it because the bottle looks cool. The smell is all right, I could do without it. Back here I've got Mont Blanc Individual. Again, nice smell, cheap price, but 
doesn't really blow me away. Then all the way back here I've got Spice Bomb, great winter scent, awesome stuff. All right guys, and down here I have all of my cheap fragrances. Really just keep them down here because it's a pain in the butt to get down here. And I don't really wear these that much anyway, so we'll start here. Got Nautica Voyage. You can see I've used quite a bit of it. I actually haven't worn that much on skin. I really just use it to spray like, you know, my sheets and my inside of my truck and stuff to freshen it up. I actually keep a decan of this in my truck just to spray. It works good for that. It's like 12 bucks, so whatever. Right here I've got Perry Ellis 360 Red. That's a good Aqua de Jo clone. Nice stuff, nice performance. Got kind of a cinnamon note, a little bit spicy. Right here I've got Moogler Cologne. Great stuff. Uh, performance isn't that good on me. I know some people get like eight hours, but it's not the case for me, which sucks. Right here, I've got CK Shock. It's a great tobacco amber scent. Kind of like this red pipe tobacco smell. Right back here, I got a small bottle of Burberry Brit. This is a really nice rose ginger fragrance. Definitely underrated, I think. Good performance, good compliments. Right here, I've got a bottle of Issey Miyake. It's nice stuff. Kind of dated now, in my opinion, but still good. Back here, I've got a bottle of Om Noir by Jean Marc Paris. It's like 10 bucks at Marshall, so I picked it up. Right here I've got Ed Hardy Love and Luck. This is supposed to be a clone of Millicene Imperial, but it is similar just without the saltiness. Right here I've got Clinique Happy for Men. This is a nice fragrance. I think this could definitely be unisex if you wanted it to. It's nice stuff. Back here I've got Tommy Bahama St. Bart's. Uh, very good stuff. Again, this one is compared to Virgin Island Water really isn't that similar um, it is slightly because of the line but virgin island water takes it in a different direction this kind of takes it in a different direction i do like both obviously i do prefer virgin island water back here i've got my vintage bottle of revert 21 or revert eco by rue 21. this was actually my first bottle purchase my first designer purchase was versace o fresh uh, but this one was my first other purchase kind of smells like hollister Beacons Beach or something like that body spray so good stuff you can see I don't have too much more of it which kind of sucks and then back here sorry about the camera work this is just kind of difficult right here I've got Tommy Bahama Island Life again another nice one from Tommy Bahama like the other one doesn't perform that good but it does smell really nice uh, nice stuff for the summer and then back here I have a couple classic match fragrances this one's supposed to smell like polo the original or something and this one's supposed to smell like polo blue uh, they're close longevity isn't good then back here's the cheapest fragrance i own yacht man red this is like three dollars on notino um, picked it up just because and yeah it's uh you know not bad definitely not good uh, all right and getting down to the end here we have aqua atlantique this is very nice scent kind of goes in the similar direction to sauvage and dylan blue uh, to me it smells a lot like sauvage in the opening and then the dry down, it kind of smells a little bit more like Dylan Blue, but it has a sea saltiness to it. I love the marine note in this. This is actually probably one of my favorites. Um, I really do enjoy this one. Great performance as well. Then back here we have Aqua Amara. This one is discontinued. At least that's what I've heard. Now this is a nice fragrance. This one isn't my favorite. I'm not really a fan of the florals in this. It's a little bit too floral for me. I know a lot of people say it's super masculine, but... I really don't think so. Uh, the florals are just a little bit too much, but I do enjoy it, especially the opening. Can't really beat that mandarin orange. And then back here we have Club Dinui Intense Man. It's an Aventus clone, as you know. Uh, I booted this to the bottom shelf because it just doesn't hold up compared to the original or the real thing. Back here I've got an old bottle of Polo Sport. It's from like 2001 or something. It smells like shower gel, literally. Then over here I just have a few samples. I got Dior Ohm Intense, Sauvage EDP, Green Irish Tweed, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense, Reflection Man. Got some bond number nine downtown. So there you go guys, that's my collection as of right now. Like I said, I've got like four more fragrances on the way as we speak, so you know, there's not really much I can do about that. You guys have been asking, so here it is, here's the collection. Like I said, it's nothing huge. It's getting there. Um, I started about almost a year ago, I wanna say. Um, when I started, I was buying, buying, buying just constantly. Now I've started to slow down a little bit. As you know, I've been starting to focus more on niche fragrances. Obviously those are more expensive and those you wanna test a little bit more to make sure you like them. Uh, but I have started to focus more on niche. I've also been focusing on building up my collections as per house goes. So, like I've been trying to fill out my Dior collection, fill out my Chanel fragrance collection, so that way I can have multiple of each brand. Just because I am a collector, I do like that type of thing. I'm gonna add a couple more creeds to the collection here soon. Green Irish Tweed, probably be one bottle I'm gonna add to it. 
because uh, that stuff is very good. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Now you guys know kind of what I'm working with here. Collection is pretty much growing constantly, so maybe I'll make another video. I don't know, maybe in the summer, maybe towards the end of the year, something like that. Just let me guys know when you want me to make another video like this because, like I said, it is constantly growing. Could be something I can update you guys every now and then, a couple times a year. So let me know down in the comments when you want me to make another video like this. And yeah, it's pretty much it, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.